What can people do to make sure they're connected with that happiness a little bit more without having to go through things like divorce or burnout in their careers? Yeah, well, I think two things. First of all, is realize that no two people are ever having the same reality because they don't come from the same exact background. Their values aren't the same. They didn't have the same hour day as one another unless, you know, they're inextricably conjoined twins sitting in the same room all their life. So you have to give respect that what somebody else's perspective is, even if it doesn't conform to yours, that's their reality. And until you appreciate it, you can't really connect. I, I learned very early that your job in life is to uh, examine, explore, evaluate, appreciate, understand, acknowledge, and respect how other people see life, even if you don't agree with it, because that at that freeze frame moment in time is their reality. And you have to deal with it, whether it's your spouse, your lover, your child, your coworker, your boss, your vendor. And, and when you appreciate that, that's being a human being. If we all saw it the same way, we'd be Stepford people. That's the first thing. The second, most people are mistakenly deluded almost to think that the end product is the answer. That when you make a million dollars, when you get to be the executive vice president, when you get uh, that, that beach house, when you get that Ferrari, or you get that uh, gorgeous wife, or you've got the fastest growing business, or anything, that that alone is going to forever liberate your life. That the the heavens are going to open, the angels are going to come out and trumpet, that nirvana will bestow, that you'll never have another problem, that you'll just be perpetually and, and permanently joyous and happy. That's bullshit. The, the, the truth is that the process is all we've got. <laughs>